Imagine for a second that you are in the bushes somewhere on an island in the Pacific as a contestant on Survivor. Tonight, coming up, Dave Sampson, the Marlins president, he actually was on Survivor and got booted off. He's telling me his story when the news continues. CBS 4's Brian Andrews joins us live from Marlins Park with the story. Brian? Well, Elliot, Dave Sampson is quite a character. Great to meet him today. One of the questions I asked him, for example, I said, hey, you know that retractable roof you got up there? Do you have like a secret button in your office that you press and it goes, zzz, zzz. He said, no, it's all done with a mouse and a point and a click. And then we got to business about being booted off Survivor. I said, oh my gosh, you know, here you are on international television. It's the first episode and they just kick you to the curb. And he says, well, that's just exactly what happened. I think the biggest thing to take away from being on Survivor is that it confirmed my belief that if you really want to do something, just go after it. And I always wanted to be on the show, and I never thought there'd be a good time, and there was never a good time, but I finally said I'm just going to apply and do it. That's exactly what David Sampson says he did, sending in his three-minute video to the CBS.com webpage and landing a spot on the hit television show. I'm in a blazer. I look around. Everyone else looks normal except there's a bunch of hot girls over on the right side. There's a bunch of huge, tall, strong people in the middle, Cliff Robinson and a guy named Tony. And I'm looking around at my tribe thinking, what is this game about? And then it was announced it's brains versus bronze versus beauty. And then I was elected the leader. And then I lost a million dollars. David, need to bring me your torch. Samson says he had no chemistry with his teammates. David, the tribe has spoken. There were too many leaders and no followers. And when you're a leader without a follower, who are you leading? And so we basically were able to accomplish literally nothing. Sampson says he got some prize money for finishing number 18, what he compares to winnings in a bad night at the poker table. It was not enough. I wanted to win. Basically, there's winning and there's losing and there's 17 losers, and I was just the first one. An amazing experience, the Marlins president says, recorded on an island in the Philippines last summer. And fending for yourself and being really hungry and really thirsty and really grumpy and trying to start a fire, that was amazingly awesome. I read somewhere you were not only eating your nails, but your toenails. Well, you get pretty hungry out there, right? Sampson's prime time start and finish is all the talk at the Marlins' main office, but his job as team's president is something he says he did not tell his castmates. I told people I worked in the marketing department for the Marlins. I'm not sure anyone on the island believed me, uh, but the fact is we did have time to talk baseball, and since then, uh, we've definitely spoken baseball with the cast. So he runs a Major League Baseball team. He also runs marathons. What is next for Dave Sampson? Well, he is going to take the small stage in community theater at the end of the month down in South Miami-Dade in a performance based on the creation of Saturday Night Live. Reporting live from Marlins Park, I'm Brian Andrews, CBS 4 News Tonight. Uh what a night it has been for us covering this story here in the Sandalfoot Mobile Home Estates of West Boca Raton. Tonight, the KKK flag no longer flies over the single wide trailer behind me, but it has left behind a double wide size controversy. Anything you'd like to say? I'd like to say I wish you were dead. How's that? The KKK flag finally came down. A flag? How lame is that? No, I won't shut my mouth. While the man chose not to speak to us, his wife, Marla Curley, had plenty to say to her mother, who stopped by to beg her daughter and son-in-law to end the neighborhood controversy. Apologize to who? The blacks and the Puerto Ricans? That who asked her to do? Just because he took the flag off doesn't mean he doesn't feel any different. Your mom told us that that was the last time that we were ever going to see this flag in front of your house. Yes, that flag. Marla says she told her husband she'd had it with the media outside their trailer, and wanted the flag gone. I'm apologizing for it. When the, when the I have black friends, I have Puerto Rican friends, I have Spanish friends, I have Chinese friends, I have all sorts of friends. And she loves everybody. No, she hates everybody equally, is the exact word you want to hear. Marla and her mom continued to get into it as the cameras rolled. Earlier, her neighbors gave her an earful. And You're a pig. Pig. Uh, there is no room Scream in America for racism I, I and people like, like you. Scream if you don't Are like you it racist? in this no. neighborhood, get out. This oh, is a multicultural stop neighborhood. Stop it. You don't want your face shown on TV, but you do have an opinion. Sure I do. I think you should take the flag down. I don't think it's right. Do you find it offensive? I do find it offensive. It's funny to me that it's such a big thing to so many people. I'm waiting for the black reporter. Where's the black reporter or the Spanish reporter? We, we have a Hispanic African. -American. Oh, I can't see him. 
<laughs> All I see is a hand and a big spotlight. Some people might say that it's just... Not nice. Not nice. It's ignorant. It's offensive. Ignorant. Offensive. Yes, I agree. So we took it down. Took gone. a little persuading, but now it's gone. Okay. Okay. And you're planning on putting up uh, what? An American place? flag? And can a, a Confederate flag be assumed as KKK? Because I don't think so. So I'm going to say a Confederate flag because he's a rebel without a cause. Uh, what about like the Dukes of Hazard? Yeah. But why even put that up to begin because with? Because he's a boob. <laughs> he just Did you just call your husband a boob? <laughs> yeah. So the flag is gone, so is the noose that was hanging from the extended patio there on the single wide trailer along with the sign that was looking for new members of the KKK. Hold on, stop me here, folks. This is the year 2014, and we are in diverse South Florida, right? Reporting live, Brian Andrews, CBS 4 News Tonight.